Alright everybody, it's first thing in the morning, I just came down to turn the lights on and there were no crayfish out and about that I could tell and I just heard a little noise, turned around and look at that little bugger, he's trying to climb up the cord and get out uh, which is precisely why I have this handy dandy piece of acrylic. A friend of mine uh, made this for me a couple years ago for this very purpose when I had set this crayfish tank up Originally, this is my uh, third iteration of this tank, and when I set it up originally, I had a uh, fairly expensive blue crayfish in here, and it got out and crawled across my basement, and I found it over in the laundry area one morning dead. So I gave my friend some measurements, and he whipped up this piece of acrylic for me, and I've not had any problems since. The broken part where the crayfish is is my fault. I actually tried to drill a hole so that the... Uh, cord could go through and I got impatient and sort of pushed as I was drilling rather than letting the drill go through on its own and it cracked that whole bottom corner. Uh, fortunately it didn't ruin anything it just doesn't particularly look very good but it still functions fine the crayfish can't get out and there's enough room for the cord to go underneath. Let me see if I can reach in there keep the camera on it with one hand and see if I can actually pick the crayfish up with my other. Let's go ahead and pull these out all together. I've said before that I was going to show people how to pick up a crayfish, and that's how you do it. You get them, you pinch them by the carapace, and you hold them just behind their claws. And you see how, despite his struggles, he is unable to get my fingers? This is the only way you can hold them, that they can't grab you. If you pick them up by the tail, or you grab them anywhere in the front, they can get you with those claws so make sure you grab them just like that now even a large crayfish is not really going to hurt you if it pinches it might smart a little and it'll certainly startle you it's never fun being pinched by any uh, little creepy critter like this but they're not going to draw blood they're not going to break your skin so if you do get pinched it's no big deal uh, it's just like I said it's just something I don't like doing so since I got him in my hand right here we may as well just go ahead and put him in this tank I wasn't really prepared to do this so let me get my hood open it's kind of hard to do with a crayfish in the same hand that I'm trying to open the hood uh, let me see what can I do here well, hang on I'm gonna have to do this with uh, the phone hand all right sorry about that and here he goes Well, this was definitely a spur of the moment video. I had absolutely no intention of doing this today, but since he presented himself and was out and about and ready to go, why not? So we've now got one of the two crayfish here in my new native tank. And I would imagine it won't be long before he gets off of the wood there and settles down towards the bottom. But it will definitely be interesting to see what he does and how he deals with all these fish in this tank. We may lose some of them, we may not. A lot of that is going to depend on the sleeping habits of the fish themselves. If they're fish that tend to stay down at the bottom when they sleep, then they're going to be fairly easy pickings for something like a crayfish that will hunt at night. And anything that's down near the bottom is pretty much going to get taken out, you know, picked off. I have seen them grab fish as they were swimming by. They just sit there patiently and if, you know, they're opportunistic. If the fish happens to swim right in front of them and they can reach out and grab it, they will. So it's not out of the question, but it's usually when they're sleeping is when, you know, it's real danger for the fish if they're sleeping down by the bottom. That's why neons disappear out of fish tanks so frequently. Any kind of fish tank that has any sort of thing on the bottom that eats fish will get neons at night because when you look at neons if you ever notice when you turn your lights on in the morning all your neons are way down at the bottom they, they sleep literally like a quarter inch off the substrate and it just makes them easy pickings for any kind of nocturnal uh, critter so these should make for some good additions to the native tank here I always have loved crayfish I just think they're fascinating little animals and it's going to be neat to see a couple in a very large tank like this. I'm going to have at least two in there for now. And then as we move on into the warmer weather and I can get out and actually go crayfishing, 
uh, I'll be able to put some more in there. A tank this size should be able to hold, I would say, four full-grown adults and allow each one of them to have enough territory that they wouldn't be fighting and trying to kill each other. I'm really surprised that I've still got two living in a 10-gallon tank without killing each other, so maybe I could get more than four in here. Uh, but that would be pretty much my goal if I was going to have crayfish living in here as permanent residents. I would want maybe four big ones. And this is not a big one by any means. This is about, oh, I don't know, two and a half inches, maybe three inches long total. And I've seen them up to maybe six or seven, not counting the claws, just from their mouth to the tip of their tail, you know, or their eyeballs to the tip of their tail. I've seen them get up to about six or seven inches. So he's going to be happy in there. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you're not already. Uh, this video is a perfect example of how you just get spur of the moment uh, videos. You never really know what you're going to get. Uh, I honestly never really know what I'm going to shoot from time to time. So if you're subscribed, you won't miss anything. I am still working on this tank, obviously. We've got a long way to go, and you don't want to miss any of the updates on that. So this is my native tank, and I am going to be pretty much tearing down that crayfish tank, and we can do something with that again next summer and have some more fun with it. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you real soon on the next one.